On The Breakfast Club, you made a comment. I kept listening to it over and over again. I couldn't quite figure out what you were saying. What did 50 Cent say to James Cruz about Diddy? Oh, man, I don't want to kill him. You said it. I'm asking you just to repeat what you already said. Oh, he said, all right, 50 said James Cruz F Diddy. Oh. Like I had sex with Diddy. Some crazy shit. (laughs) Okay. But come on. I didn't believe it was true. You know what I mean? Shout to Diddy, Cruz, and 50. I didn't believe it was true, but he said it. I said, that, yo, and he said it in front of everybody. Crazy. He just, you know, 50 just say crazy shit. 50's crazy. We know it ain't true, but 50 just say some crazy shit. The motherfucker is crazy. That's who he is as a person. 50 I'm and James Cruz always had this really funny relationship, yeah. man. I, I'm not quite sure where it came from. James Cruz always held it down, but I don't know. Like, he, they did have a funny relationship. I felt like his relationship was more with Chris Lighty than. Oh, it was, definitely. Than, than no, James, definitely. You know? Well, I think. Do you think that it changed after James cooperated over the whole Hot 97 shooting incident? I don't even think it was that. I just think that 50 just don't, they just don't like that nigga. I've seen mm. him scream on James Cruz multiple times. Really? Yes, it's not the first time. Listen, me and James have had our issues. But I mean, James have le- has left me outside at a party. That he's he probably was, mad at me now because I told that story. <laughs> yeah, about, maybe. Who cares? But, it is what it nah, is. Nah, but Cruz is cool. <laughs> James man. will get over I like Cruz. I love his whole family. Yeah, now, like I said, I, I've had issues with James in the past. He's done sideways stuff with me, but at the end of the day, it, whatever, it's business. I've, had, I've had him back on. I've honestly, had him back on the show. Honestly, like, he it's did whatever. something sideways with me, too. Yeah. But I don't take nothing personal in the industry no more. Right. You know, he did something sideways with me, and it's all good. And I don't mean to throw him under the bus. It's just a lot of crazy James Cruz stories. Yeah. I've seen 50 yell at him multiple times, but I've seen 50 yell at Plenty of people multiple times. Right. But, you know, Violator was definitely something that I love to go to. Like, rest in peace, Chris Lighty. Yeah. James Cruz was there. Somebody that, you know, I love, fuck with. Um, um, Mona Scott, mm-hmm. um, Claudine, you know. And and um, like I said, that's when it comes to the story. Like, a lot of people didn't like Chris Lighty because he was so successful. Think about all the big names that he had. He had everybody in the game from Diddy to 50, K. Slay. Nori, um, Freeway, State Property. All the motherfuckers he managed. Buster Rhymes. Buster, uh, he managed at LL. Elliot. Like yeah. Claudine. I remember Claudine used to be with LL all the time. Shout out to LL, one of my favorite rappers. And I just remember being there and just being excited to be in the office because you never know who you're going to see. I remember Yandy being there. That's how I remember Yandy. Yeah. Shout out to Yandy was there. I can't forget her. Like, it was just the place to go and the place to be, be in violated office. You never know you're going to see Freeway. You're going to see Buster. You're going to see K-Slay. You know what I mean? 